If you want to track the time for your little projects, little tasks that you have to do, you want to estimate your time, you can use Google Sheets to do it. And it's a lot easier than you realize. So let's say that I am going to install some software here and my project starts on that day at 9 a.m. And I'm going to start with a backup. And I think that backup is going to take me 30 minutes. And I'm going to say backup here. And what this has done is automatically calculated what time the next step starts. And then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, say download the software. And I'm going to say that that will take us uh, 15 minutes. And so now I've got the start time for the next one. And then I'm going to install the software. Okay, once again, we'll, we'll say that that's going to take me 30 minutes by the time I work out how to do it. And it's going to go, okay, now we're up to 10, 15. So it's done these calculations for me. I'll show you how in a moment. And then uh, the last thing, uh, the second last thing is I'm going to configure the software. And that's, that's going to take me uh, an hour and uh, 30 minutes, say. And then this one, I'm just going to say end. Okay. So this is really good because what if I say, actually, I need to start this one at, say, 11.30 a.m. So I'm going to t change the time to 11.30 a.m. and this will recalculate all of these times. Okay, finishes at 2.15. And what about if I do this and I say, actually, that one is uh, only going to take me 45 minutes. Watch how it recalculates the end time there. Okay, so how did I do it? Pretty simple. First thing is to set the date in the first cell. And so I'm just going to change that. If I go to format, number, custom number format. Don't go into the date format. And here is where I want to put in D for the day of the month. And then MMM for the month, three letters. And then YYYY for, for the year. And then hours and minutes. Now, if I want, I could actually add seconds as well. But that's not important to me. So I'm just going to hit minutes there now for these others i don't really want to repeat the date and time so all i'm going to do is just put in the time here so these ones are all going to be formatted just in the form of hhmm let me do that so see there hhmm okay under custom norm number formats now this one is duration and so I'm going to go into format here, number, custom number format again. And this is HHMM. The only thing is that the H is in square brackets. So one thing to note here is that when you have that, those brackets around the square brackets around the H for the hours, what it means is that it's not an hour of the day, like it will go up to 12 or 24 hours and then reset again. But if you want to accumulate the hours if you want the hours to go over 24 25 hours 26 hours 27 hours and not just display the 12 hour time then you put the square brackets around it and then of course the actual details of the change so this makes it very easy if you want to change the date or time to some new time so I'll make it February 16, 2024, and I'll say make that at 4 p.m. If I just type in that, it's automatically going to change that formula to 1600, 24 hour time. So I'll just show you quickly again. Here is the calculation. So you'll see the first line doesn't have a calculation because that's something that I'm going to enter myself to say this is the time that I'm going to start this little task. The second line and the subsequent lines do have the calculation. And so I'm going to say, if this one, B2, is greater than zero, then add the previous line plus B2. 16 plus 30, 1630, 4.30 p.m. And by the way, if you want to do this in Microsoft Excel, it's pretty much the same formulas in the same formats.